Hey everyone, welcome back to Garnet Reviews and today we're looking at Mike Ziegler's 2007 Grand Banks Europa 47. When you think Grand Banks you normally think your 8, 10, 12 knot cruiser but this actually is capable of reaching speeds in excess of 20 knots. And the fact she's fitted with stabiliser systems on board that means you'll be cruising in comfort and style. This yacht's currently for sale for $700,000 and she's located in Jacksonville, Florida. This yacht measures in at 47 foot on length, but she's got a beam of 15 foot 9 and with 44 foot waterline length as well. This gives a great combination of plenty of interior space, but you also have plenty of deck space when you're walking around the yacht as well. Boarding the yacht can easily be done through the extended bathing platform, and this can be accessed from either the port or starboard. And there's solid handrails here to make it easier, and there's also plenty of handholds if you are boarding from the water. Once you step up onto the main aft deck, I like the fact that this is all protected with an overhang and this is actually illuminated at night as well. As you see here, the cleats they're all off to the side, they're out of the way. You've got a deck shower here. And you've got a storage locker, which is perfect for ropes. This has got both a fire extinguisher here, but it's also got an EPIRP system. And as you walk down the deck, you can see all the handrails and grab rails that we've got here. And again, this can be eliminated at night on the overhang. Getting access to the bow, it's all clear, the cleats are off to the side, again you get more grab rails. At the bow we've got a Lawfrens 1200 watt windlass, and this can be controlled from the, from the bow itself, but it can also be controlled from both the flybridge and the lower helm. You see we've got access to the anchor lockers here, and this does come with a wash system so that you can hose down the chain if you want it to, especially in salt water. And right at the bow we've got a storage locker here, again this is perfect for ropes and fenders. Keeps it accessible, but it keeps it out the way at the same time. And again, you can see just how wide the passageway is, leading back aft. Underneath the aft cockpit, there's a large storage area. And this has been used in for fishing equipment, you can put dive equipment in here, you can put engine spares. Um, at one point the owner had spare props in here for the yacht. You can put tools in here, you could put folding electric bikes, there's so many different options. And this also gives you access to the rudder and steering equipment. So you can always keep an eye on things for maintenance and any repairs if need be. You can see we've got a spare anchor. It's very much an easy access storage area. While we're at the aft cockpit, one of the upgrades that's been taking place is you can see the little stops here on the deck. Um, this is actually for an external fridge, uh, for an outdoor fridge, and it's obviously got a power outlet for it as well, but it just gives you extra refrigeration for extended cruising or liveaboard use. And then we'll head up to the flybridge. I like the fact the stairways are illuminated. And then when you get up here, you've got a full canopy. This can obviously be removed in sections. You can have the bimini top, you can open the side windows or the side panels. 
the Flybridge boast brand new stid helm seats. You've obviously got a full bank of electronics here. You've got two Raymarine E120, and this is the chart plotter and radar, and you can also do an overlay with it. You've got your depth gauge, you've got your autopilot, you've got your VHF radio, you see we've got the bow and stern thrusters, full engine instrumentation, you can control the windlass, and you can also control the stabilizers. Everything's all within your fingertips. And then you've got that picture perfect view out the bow. I like the fact there's as much storage up here as well. Underneath all the seats, there's also storage. These seats have recently been re upholstered. You get a little sink, and there's storage under here as well. And under the seats here is where they're currently storing the life jackets. Again, it's making it easy access if you need it. You got a little cocktail table. And then on the aft of the flybridge, you've got a davit here for launching and retrieving. You could have a jet ski or a small rib or something like that. And I also like the fact that because it's the Europa, you've got this walk around that you've got access to, which would be great if you were ever coming along harbour walls or going through lock gates. And underneath the flybridge stairs, this is actually how you get access to the engine room. That's a full walk-in engine room access. As you make your way into the engine room, you can see you get plenty of grab rails here for getting a hold of, especially if you were underway at the time. And this yacht is powered by twin Caterpillar or C9 turbocharged diesel engines, and this gives a total output of 1160 horsepower, and these have about less than a thousand hours on the clock. As you make your way forward, you can see here we've got access to all the main components of the engine. So you can get to your fuel filters, your oil filters. Easy to check the fluids. There's plenty of storage for engine spares and tools. Then you've got the owning generator. This is an 11.5 kilowatt generator. You get 600 gallons of fuel down here, and you get 260 gallons of water. You can see the engine room has been very clean, very well maintained. And then the forward bulkhead, this is where you get access, there's a hatch right at the helm floor. Um, and this is for also your fuel transfer, you can transfer it from one tank to the other, one engine to the other. You get all your breakers, you get your batteries, all your inverters. Everything's clearly labelled as well. And then as we head out, you can see that the owner's already got a number of engine spares down here. All your oil filters, fuel filters, things like that.
as we head back up, we'll head into the main accommodation area. My first impressions is I love how bright and airy it is in here. There's plenty of windows and visibility. One thing you can't get a sense of on the video is just how cold and cool it is in here, thanks to the air conditioned units, um, especially on a hot summer's day like this. I love the woodwork finish that's in here. It's a very high glossy finish to it. You've got plenty of seats here on the port side. It's got a cockpit table. And this has got leafs that open out and the table can be raised and lowered as needed. On the starboard side you get two individual seats. And in between those seats we've got a pop-up TV. And the yacht's actually got Trek Vision satellite TV system. And there's a Bose surround sound stereo system in the saloon as well. As you make your way forward, you've got the helm on the starboard side. And you've got the galley on the port. Underneath the main helm chair, you've got a little drinks cabinet in here, a little cold fridge. You've got drawers that lock into place for storage. you got a bottle rack. And if you notice, all these drawers and lockers, they all lock into place. So if you are at sea, everything's going to stay safe and secure. In the galley here, you've got the fridge. Got plenty of worktop space. you got drawers for your utensils. shelves in here, you can put different pots, pans, plates, things like that. You've got your three burner electric stove, you got a microwave oven overhead, and overhead you've even got drop down storage, and again these lock in place, you got your cups on this side, and on the other side you got your glassware. You get a very deep stainless steel sink, trash can underneath, and again at the side here you get more storage. As you make your way over to the helm, you see we've got access to the main deck which makes it really easy for single-handed operation. You've even got a lanyard that controls your bow and stern thrusters. You get your handheld VHF. And you can see you get your access to the windlass here. You got your bow and stern thrusters, your autopilot. You get full engine instrumentation. You get the rudder indicator. You got the same electronics from up on the flybridge, so you get your chart plotter, your radar, and that's going to all be overlaid. Up here, you get more control panels. These are for your wipers, washers. You got your fuel flow system. You get your stabilizer controls, your VHF, your generator controls. Everything's got a very professional fit and finish to it. A little storage compartment here, and this also has got the Grand Bank's nameplate, and this is hull number 25. And below that, you've got your control panels, 
And I love how clearly labelled everything is here. You step on the yacht and you instantly know where everything is. And then the metal window here that you see, this actually opens if you wanted extra air and ventilation. And then we'll make our way down to the lower accommodation. And to starboard you got a guest cabin. This is a little unique for me in that the bunks are like the port and starboard rather than bow and stern. There's plenty of storage lockers in between. The side hatches do open if you wanted additional light and also ventilation. And, and then overhead you've got the overhead hatch and it's got a strong blind on here to keep the light and keep the heat out. Opposite the guest cabin, we've got the hedge compartment. There's plenty of storage in here for your different toiletries, towels, things like that. This also has an overhead hatch with again the, the blind keeping the light and the heat out. And then you've got the shower compartment as well. Plenty of full standing headroom throughout. It's a very easy yacht to walk through. And then we'll lead up to the owner's cabin forward. And this has got a customised extra wide berth. You see, you've got lights here up at the where your pillow would be. There's plenty of natural light as well from the side hatches. There's an overhead hatch. You've got lock and storage cabinets throughout. And again, I love the woodwork finish that's on this yacht. It's a very high quality. All these drawers and hatches are securely lock in place, keeping your possession safe and secure when you're underway. And being a master stateroom, it is en suite. You get the toilet, the sink full standing headroom in the shower. And you see on the opposite side here we've got the TV, we've got different entertainment systems, we've got more storage lockers. We've got hanging lockers here. And there's also drawers underneath. And I'd like to thank everybody's time for watching the video. I'd like to thank Mark Ziegler for allowing us on board to review the video. And I look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks, everyone.